Sensitivity analysis, or what-if analysis, is critical for understanding the robustness of a design. It allows you to understand how a changing input will affect the choice of least cost system. It's easy to perform a sensitivity analysis in Homer Pro. The sensitivity variable editor buttons are found throughout the software. Click these buttons and you will have the opportunity to perform a sensitivity analysis. For example, if I'm in my generator component in the design view and I look down at the fuel price currently set at a dollar a liter, I can look at the sensitivity variable editor buttons. Once I've done that, I can ask Homer, well, what if the price isn't a dollar a liter? What if it's a dollar twenty-five or seventy-five cents a liter? Before I go on, I'd like to point out this link with a drop-down menu. This enables you to perform linked sensitivities. It's a very handy advanced feature, but we're not going to cover that topic here in this quick introduction. So I'll click OK and click Calculate to get results. Once the calculation finishes, Homer Pro will automatically switch you from the design view over to the results view. You'll immediately notice that the top table, the Sensitivity Cases table, now contains a line for each of the three sensitivity values that we're evaluating. Each line contains the overall winner, also known as the optimal or lowest net present cost system. At the indicated sensitivity value, you can see that when I click on one of the sensitivity cases, for example, $1.25 a liter, Homer Pro loads up all of the system designs of that sensitivity case. In the optimization cases table below, you'll see that the system at the top of the list, the lowest net present cost system, is the same system design as shown in the sensitivity case table. So, we've run a sensitivity on one value, fuel price. However, you can run a sensitivity analysis on multiple variables simultaneously. For example, we could also run a sensitivity on the discount rate as well as fuel price. To access the discount rate, select the project ribbon and click on the economics button. You can see that we've already used the discount rate of 8%. We click the sensitivity variable editor button, and we can add more sensitivity variables. Let's add 12% and 16%. Click OK, and then calculate. You can see from the table that we ended up with nine sensitivity cases. Three from the sensitivity on fuel price times the three sensitivity values from the discount rate yields nine sensitivity cases overall. In addition to this tabular format where you can compare the optimal systems at each of the substituted cases, Homer Pro includes a lot of different graphical tools for evaluating the impact of changing sensitivity values as well as for evaluating the optimization space. To access these, click on the graphic button here in the upper right. We'll take a look at the optimal system type plot. This graph shows you the optimal category or system type across the range of sensitivity values that we've evaluated. The red region represents the sensitivity values where generator, PV, and battery category is the lowest cost system. The pink in the lower right represents the area of sensitivity cases where the generator and battery systems are the lowest cost. These optimal system type charts can be essential in determining what type of system to ultimately install. Thank you for watching the Homer Software Training Series. We're here to help you learn about microgrids. If you're a trial user, please contact us at support at homerenergy.com for more information on how to become a licensed user. We have additional training available for our licensed users. Visit gethomertraining.com to learn more.